second segment of Barstool Business. Today, it's pretty chilly in Dayton, so all I need is a cup of nice soup and a sweatshirt. And my friends over at Seasonal Flyers have a great new product to show you. So, what kind of lessons have you learned over this process? Uh, so we did a little lesson learning and doing more market research, so we know, you know, what our customers really want to see from our product how we can deliver the best customer satisfactory rate. And we also, on this round of products, ordered a smaller inventory just to play it safe before break. We can always reorder more, but yeah, we, things are looking up. Sounds smart. What bumps in the road have you faced? Yeah, so we had a couple bumps. Um, we decided now that all of our money, like any cash inflow we get, is going directly to our accountant. He will be making all the deposits, um, checking all of our quotes before, make sure like, numbers add up, all that, you know, fun money math stuff. Huh. And yeah, just making sure that like everyone has their roles now. We finally got like all the kinks worked out. Um, everyone has a special role assigned to them and it just like flows like a well-oiled machine. Good, you guys have any prospects on the horizon? Yeah, well, it is a Christmas season coming up. So all you guys come buy a nice little sweatshirt, support your family, have them rest some Dayton gear. Um, Christmas season, obviously busy time of year. And we really are going to think about doing some Christmas ornament products, uh, maybe a couple beanie hats. You know, just like we really want that Christmas spirit, spread the holly jolly. And So I can see you're wearing a new sweatshirt. It's pretty cool. Well, tell me about it. <laughs> so um, we got our sweatshirts again from Logos at Work. Uh, and this time we actually had awesome delivery results. So we got the product a week earlier than we expected to. Um, so we're super happy about that. And the quality of these sweatshirts, it's super comfy. So yeah, you can wow, feel it. Wow, it's pretty thick. Pretty, pretty soft. Nice. Yeah. So right now we've had no issues with our new products um, and the product sourcing has gone great. Nice. Like, tell me a little bit about your business operations. Like, How's your inventory? Yeah, so um, this round with the sweatshirts, we decided to order a lesser amount um, than what we previous did. So like over family weekend, we initially ordered 150 shirts. Um, wow. Yeah, and we were lucky to sell out of those at first, um, but this time, just because it's sweatshirts and a lot like higher of a price, um, we actually decided to order 50, and we think that's a very comfortable starting number because um, we can always order more if it goes well. So how does this compare to your t-shirts? So with the t-shirts, we had a higher profit margin um, just because it was a smaller price to pay for the per shirt, um, and we sold it for 15, but this time, since it's a sweatshirt, it's a little more expensive, um, our profit margin is quite lower. But one of the big things that, as a company that we care about is um, affordable products for students. So we know the profit margin lower is lower, but you know, starting this company, that was one of our two goals. We wanted to have unique um, products for students that they can't buy at the bookstore, but the other one is just mostly affordable products. So how have you fixed any problems that you had before? Yeah, so the only problem that we really had before um, was we, that we didn't get the full discount, but mm -hmm. that has been totally resolved, um, and we actually got the credit back for that making this product um, cheaper and more affordable for us as a group. So yeah, everything with that is fixed. So how have sales been going this month? Uh, we picked up our new sweatshirts today and we've already sold seven, so so far they're going really well. Have you guys got, encountered any problems so far? Um, so far we've had people complain about how our sweatshirts are $25, which is a low profit margin compared to other groups, but if you want to pay 30, that's what other groups are selling their sweatshirts for, so 25 is a much lower price, and our design is unique, and it's affordable. And that's it. Cool. So, since we've last spoken, what are your market strategies looking like? Um, okay, so we have still been using Instagram, which has been super beneficial, but we also have started to use the app Shopify, which has helped us a lot too, so we can keep track of our inventory a lot easier because we were doing it through an Excel spreadsheet previously and through our Instagram DMs, which has been very helpful. Um, and we never have done table hours before, so we're planning on doing them this Friday in KU. So we're hoping to get our sales up a little bit more, word of mouth, little product showcase so people can see the product and just buy it while they're passing by if they may not have social media or things like that. So with all this advertising, do you guys have to pay for any of it? Um, so like I said in our last meeting, um, Instagram is free to use, which is very helpful. However, um, the app Shopify that I was telling you about that we use, there is a 2.6% um, tra transaction fee on every order that we do process through Shopify. And we also have to pay a um, $30 membership fee per month. So it is a little bit of a toll, but we think it would be helpful just to keep track of our inventory and stay on track and things like that. 
Definitely. What's coming up for seasonal flyers? Okay, so we're taking a look at our numbers. We're going to see how our sales go in the next couple weeks, like around the Christmas season, as Anthony was saying before. And um, we have some ideas about possibly doing some giveaway opportunities, depending on how the sales go, but I think that could really help us in the future. Cool. I'll enter. So, tell us about these numbers. So here we have our balance sheet and we currently have $5,759.95 in our bank account in cash with our inventory of $688.34. And we have sold seven, t or seven sweatshirts so far. And that's why we have, one of them is an accounts receivable because we haven't collected the money yet. And as you can see, our total assets come to $6,473.29, which is all those added up. And our liabilities, we have accounts payable of $5,000, which of course is the um, first loan that we got from the university to start our micro business. And our retained earnings come out to $1,473.29, which is added from the retained earnings that we received from our t-shirt sales and some of it of which we've uh, gotten from our sweat, sweatshirt sales so far. All right, Riley, tell us about these numbers. So here we have our balance sheet for our forecast when hopefully we sell out of all of our sweatshirts. And we're trying to do this within the next two weeks before everybody goes off for Christmas break. And so we'd have a cash value of $6,859 within the bank and our profit would be about $1,800. And so that would result in our total assets of being $6,800. And of course, our accounts payable for our liabilities is the same $5,000 for the, from the university. And our retained earnings would be $1,859.95, which results to the same uh, value in the total assets of $6,859.95. That's a balanced balance sheet. So here we have our income statement of our earnings thus far. And we have $2,425 in sales revenue with that includes our shirts and our sweatshirts so far and our cost of goods our total cost of goods is fifteen hundred dollars and that comes out to a gross profit of about eight hundred eighty eight dollars and fifteen cents with operating expenses coming from our t-shirt sales with the transaction fees from square of about eight dollars and twenty cents and then miscellaneous expenses from both of these uh shipments um is ninety five dollars and those top total operating expenses come out to $103.20. And that brings our net income to $784.95 with our um, cost of goods for both of the products. Andrew? So, tell me about these numbers. So, here's our forecasted income statement once we sell out of all of our t -shirt, or sweatshirts. And we have a sales revenue of $3,500 with, that's including the uh, t-shirts that we sold earlier in the year and we have a uh, cost of goods sold of $1,536.85 er, $1, bringing our gross profit to $1,963.15 and we end up with a net income of $1,859.95 so on to our key metrics we have sales right now of $2,425 and a gross profit of $885.15. And that's with the um, with what we've sold so far and about $9.97 per shirt and $9.35 per sweatshirt. So our profit currently is $784.95. And one thing that we're big about is customer involvement. Like we said earlier, um, we put a um, Instagram poll out and they actually decided to um, do hoodies instead of, and for our sweatshirts. Product innovation, obviously, we have Erin as our designer and she really helps us bring our, all of our ideas to life. And product follow through, we have a really good relationship with um, Logos at Work and we we're ha extremely happy about this shipment that came in extremely earlier, early than uh, we expected. Um, so we're extremely proud about that. And our gross margin currently is 32.36% with what we've sold so far and our cost of, gold, cost of goods sold. Um, and once we sell out, hopefully um, that gross margin would be bumped up to 54.14%.